Have you ever had the opportunity to do either photo or video for a professional sports team? I'm serious, if you have had this opportunity or if you do it for a living, let me know in the comments down below. I wouldn't mind having a quick chat with you. But the reason why I ask this question is because I finally had the opportunity to do this on a really big level over this past week. But before we get into that, I would really really appreciate it if you could do a couple things for me number one if you could hit that subscribe button and perhaps hit the bell i make videos just like you're about to see all the time and if you want to see those i encourage you to hit subscribe also hit that like button lets me know that you're enjoying what you're seeing and also helps boost this video a little bit higher up in the algorithm and here's your question of the day if you do sports video or photo i want you to let me know in the comments what is your favorite sport to do? I've done a few different sports at this point, and I definitely think I have my favorite, but I want to know what your favorite is in the comments. Now, I mentioned before that I have, in fact, done video and photo for professional teams before, but never to the degree that I've done it this past week. I was an intern at an independent baseball team over the summer. They were part of what's called the Frontier League here in the United States. And this is where I got my start with everything. Up until this point, I had never done any form of sports video, photo, really, anything. My only true experience before this point was in gaming. So this was absolutely fantastic for me. And I did that last summer. And then what happened after that is I went back to school and I had the opportunity to volunteer and do photo and video for the Bowling Green State University Falcon football team. Now, this was something that really opened the door for me in a lot of ways. I was simply volunteering, I wasn't paid to do anything, I wasn't required to do anything. I was just asking to be there, they allowed me to do it, and I gave them stuff to put out on their social media. Now, this ended up opening the door to do things for some of the other teams on campus, mainly the men's soccer team. They contacted me, they really liked what I did, and ever since then, I've been doing a lot of stuff with them periodically, and they really love the work that I've done. I also had a quick opportunity of doing a small video for the women's volleyball team as well. So as you can see, I have definitely had some experience working with some of these professional teams, but these are all sort of on the lower level they're not at the highest degree that you can get now what I did this past week isn't the highest degree but it is a step up further than what I had done before if you recognize this hat this is the Toledo Mud Hens and in the city of Toledo Ohio basically opening day for the Mud Hens is this massive party that everybody tries to partake in in some way shape or form and let me tell you that was no exception this year the announced attendance for the game was just over 10,000 and from my personal calculations there was definitely several more thousand people that were just around at the bars and restaurants in downtown during the day it was a absolute <laughs> crazy party it was a great time there were tons of people there's so much energy and the weather ended up actually being really good now I mentioned that to say that I actually had the opportunity to do photo and video for the mud hens on opening day now when i say that i want to make sure i'm clear with this i work at a company in toledo called bcsm they cover high school and collegiate sports in the northwest ohio and southeast michigan area and they're based out of toledo so i do the social media for them so when i say that i covered the game i covered the game i covered the mud hens for bcsm so i was able to go out there i had full press access i was able to take photo and video and put together awesome stuff for BCSN's social media. This was a really great opportunity to be able to get out there, get hands on, get in the mix of the unbelievably fun experience and do some really cool stuff. Now, one of the things that I was a little nervous about going in is I've never done something to this level before, like I said. So this is a triple A affiliate baseball team. They are the direct affiliate of the Detroit Tigers. So this is a pretty big deal. And like I said, there was 10,000 people in attendance at the game and several thousand people outside the game. It was a really, really big deal. So for me, I was a little nervous going in because I haven't done anything to this level before. And as well, BCSN has a very large footprint in the area. So anything that I do, it's gonna be seen by a lot of people. You know what I'm saying? But it was fantastic. And I'll tell you what, I shot everything handheld. I didn't have a tripod, I didn't have a monopod, nothing like that. Everything that I did was just handheld. I just wanted to be able to have complete control over what I was doing and not get into anybody's way. And it was awesome. I took some really great photos, took some really great video, and I put together some really awesome stuff. And real quick before I end this video, I just want to talk briefly about that experience. For me, this experience was really just amazing. It was sort of that next step up in terms of my career of doing things like this. And it was just awesome. The atmosphere was amazing. I was there for like eight hours and I was definitely tired, but I was having a blast the entire time. I was able to meet so many different people and talk to different people, meet other photographers and videographers and speak to them and get their ideas about things. And it really just felt 
great to do. So what does this mean for me going forward? Well, the cool thing is that I have a press pass for the entire season for the Mud Hens, so I'll definitely be doing more of this in the future. But this year, I'm really gonna be starting to do more and more of this as much as I can. With that said, if you'd like to see some of that stuff, I encourage you to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell so you never miss any of these kinds of uploads. I do this sort of talking head, also share some of the actual video content and photo content that I do. If you'd like to see some of those things as well, check out my social media. The links will be in the description. I've got a TikTok, I've got a Twitter, I've got an Instagram, and of course you're watching me here on YouTube. Like the video if you want to see more like this, if you enjoyed it, because like I said, it'll help to bump this up in the algorithm and get more people seeing what's going on here. And don't forget, I want to know your favorite sport to cover with photo or video down in the comments. I'm, I'm really interested actually, because for me, I actually think that my favorite is probably baseball. I love football. Soccer is great as well. I'm not as good at soccer yet. I think I need a little more practice, but baseball, I just, I really love baseball and it's definitely a very fun sport to capture. So I do a lot of that. But anyways, that's going to be it for me today. Thank you for stopping by. I really appreciate it. And I will see you in the next one. Farewell.